What is going on guys? Grave here today. We got update 1.07. This was around 13 gigs on PS4. I've not seen the file size for all the other platforms, but this did come out for everyone today. Old gen, new gen, and of course PC. I will link these patch notes down in the description if you would like to read over them for, uh, kind of for yourself. This was not exactly the patch I was expecting. There's a lot of UI fixes, a lot of bug fixes, that kind of thing. No gun uh, nerfs or buffs, which was kind of strange. I think a lot of people wanted to see the M16 or the AUG. Uh, some changes to those considering I'm sure most of you have gotten one burst by them at all ranges whether it be long range or close range but they did talk about the free bundles starting today at 10 a.m. Pacific time all you have to do is log into the game from today until the start of season one and you can get the field research bundle and the certified bundle also motherland mosh pit is going to be added in this is going to be TDM Dom kill confirmed and hardpoint on Moscow and crossroads Hardpoint Motherland Mosh Pit will also be available. It says, don't worry, Nuketown fans. Nuketown 84 is still available in the map playlist, but the Nuketown 24-7 playlist will only will not be in the game right now. It will return with a special twist in Season 1. Also, during an extended double XP and double weapon XP weekend, so starting this Saturday, December the 12th, multiplayer and zombies will get double XP and double weapon XP, and this will run until the start of season one getting into some of the global kind of stability fixes uh they added crash fixes related to ray tracing on next gen consoles i'm not sure if this was what was causing the issues with a lot of people saying you know their game would just absolutely crash a lot of people were reporting that it was breaking you know xbox series s series x i made a video about that yesterday also a lot of issues uh, issues on ps5 you know it's pretty much just breaking your console i'm not sure if that was the problem but hopefully some of this stuff is going to fix that also, a lot of stability improvements for next-gen consoles and just PC and PS4 old-gen as well. They addressed an issue where the prestige levels and prestige icons would uh, not be correct in lobby menus and addressed an issue where the prestige one icon could display in the place of the commander rank, uh, rank icon in the after action report addressed multiple issues for breadcrumbs appearing incorrectly throughout lobby menus of course that's just a ui fix and they addressed an issue where the animation could sometimes appear corrupted in the after action report that's also another ui fix when it comes to playlists like i said the motherland mosh pit will be available from december 8th until the launch of season one uh, for camos they fixed an issue where the mastery camos were not progressing properly and reduce the number of kills without dying from three to two with the launcher and the M79 camo challenges. When it comes to hardpoint, there's a lot of changes in hardpoint for the different hills. So like P1, P2, P3, P4, so that's just the hill locations. I'm sure a lot of this had to do with Pro League, but I do play a lot of hardpoint myself, so I was glad to see these. They adjusted the spawn zones for one, three, and four. So that's hill one, three, and four. Uh, on checkmate and also re, uh, resolved an issue where the hard point could be captured behind a crate on zone four uh, garrison zone one adjusted to provide more balanced cover for both teams and also adjusted spawns for zone two and three when it comes to crossroad strike they has, uh, adjusted the spawns for all hard point zones that's one of my favorite maps to play hard point on and dom on but on crossroad strike sometimes you get some really really strange spawns and also for crossroads uh hard point they moved zone four to the adjacent tent to provide more opportunities for the attacking team. And I'm very glad they did that because Hill 3 and 4 were right there close together on crossroads. And a lot of times you would get beat if the enemy team could pretty much hold the middle of the map because you never could get to that side of the map. And it was kind of frustrating. So I'm kind of glad they, to, to see that they moved that. That way it will make it a little bit easier for both teams to have a chance to get to Hill 4. And for Moscow, they removed spawns near back statue for Zone 3. For Control... They adjusted the attack response to reduce travel times to objectives on Moscow and additional attack response added closer to mid-map when B has been captured. Like I said, once again, a lot of this is for the Pro League because they do play control and hardpoint. Uh, for control on Miami, they adjusted attack response to reduce travel time to objectives and the same for checkmate. For uh, fire team Dirty Bomb, they reduced spawn protection time to reduce frequency of protection uh, from explosives. Addressed an issue where players could collide when redeploying. Addressed an issue where players could get stuck by mantling in certain spots on Alpine. And addressed an issue where containers could spawn inside objectives uh, while playing Fireteam Dirty Bomb on any of the maps. Or any of the two maps. 
uh, score streaks. They reduce the spawn rates of gunship, chopper gunners, and VTOL escorts. I'm assuming they're meaning they reduce the spawn rate inside of the care packages. I know I have seen people at the beginning of a game lately get gunships, chopper gunners, VTOLs, like within just a couple minutes into the game. As soon as they get their care package, they're getting one of these big streaks out of it, which was kind of crazy. I have not personally gotten one myself when I ran a care package, but I, overall I thought it was kind of ridiculous that there was people getting chopper gunners and VTOLs right off the bat. Uh, address an issue where the cruise missile HUD effects could be seen in the redeploy menu. Addressed an issue where the uh, exit, the playable space in Alpine was not working correct with some vehicles. Addressed an issue where dust and threat perception effects could display on the overhead camera. Addressed an issue with party uh, invites in Fire Team Dirty Bomb. Adjusted the radius on mounted turrets to be easier to get onto in combined arms. Added options and custom games for score streak settings for score streak reset on death, allowing players to set the percentage, the percentage of score loss on death from 0 to 100%. So you can change that up. Uh, round based modes addressed an issue where players could be kicked for inactivity while uh, spectating. So things like, you know, uh, search and destroy if you died and you were spectating your teammates. Uh, control. Sometimes it was kicking players out even though they were just spectating because they weren't able to be in the game at that time. So that has been fixed. Uh, when it comes to weapons, there were no nerfs or buffs for weapons, which, like I said, I was kind of shocked by. I was really surprised the AUG and the uh, the M16 did not get some changes. I know a lot of people have been complaining about them because of you know their one burst potential at all ranges. It seems like they're pretty much a sniper all the way to a sub sometimes. I mean, you, you can get beat at any range with them. But they added po polish to visual kickback when hip-firing weapons, addressed some issues with the shotguns when firing the last shot while ADS'd. Addressed an issue where launchers could lock on to stationary turrets and combined arms, and addressed an issue that could prevent thermal scope from showing a thermal overlay when riding in a vehicle. Also, some other things they did was uh, they adjusted some things with the score streaks. Uh, the care package, the care package damage explosion, excuse me, will no longer hurt teammates in hardcore, and addressed an issue that could cause the care package to go through the roof in checkmate. The combat bow they uh, made fixed an issue that showed the tactical mask icon incorrectly when you're da damaging an enemy with that combat bow addressed an issue with the cruise missile uh, where damaging a cruise missile would not display a hit marker so a lot of times you know you'll uh, see a lot of hit no hit markers when you drop you know cruise missile around certain things so, so that should be fixed and address an issue with the VTOL escort camera uh, the chopper gunner will now follow its correct short path on crossroad strike instead of the wide path it was following. It was acting like you were playing the large combined arms version of Crossroads, not the small version. So the chopper gunner was way uh, kind of out of the way at, at times. You couldn't hit anyone on the other team because it was not going in the path for the small map. It was going in the path for the larger map. Now, when it comes to some other map changes, they fixed it uh, on Crossroads and Armada. So uh, parachutes can now be activated while apply, uh, applicable in all modes. Added a unique 6v6 intermission camera on Crossroad Strike and addressed an issue where one of the explosive barrels would never detonate on Garrison. I'm sure you all have seen that. That barrel can get shot so many times in a game and just be on fire and never blow up, which is kind of weird. Uh, the trophy system will now destroy incoming trophy systems. They fixed an issue where the trophy system was not uh, destroying projectile, incoming projectiles and addressed an issue where shooting your tro own trophy system could show enemy infantry hit markers. The assault pack will now be destroyed if the enemy uses it. And they fixed an issue where if you had two field mics out, you were getting double the score. That is not going to happen anymore. So if you have two field mics out that are overlapping, you were getting the earning double score. That has now been fixed as well. Added a new helicopter aiming mode in the options. Addressed an issue where players could spawn with corrupted animations if they squad spawned onto a dirt bike as a passenger. Uh, for just general fixes, to build, uh, fixed a rare crash that occurred when players were dismembered by explosives, uh, general cleanup and bug fixes for finishing moves, added voiceover for first person gestures. Of course, they addressed several issues that mouse and keyboard was having and addressed an issue where player uh, where a character's expert audio for a weapon uh, melee could be delayed and addressed an issue where players were not immediately killed when being downed while in the water. Now, they did have several small fixes for zombies as well and pretty much just some combat UI fixes. Um, when it com comes to PC, pretty much just like uh, we used to get with Modern Warfare, if you play on PC, it always just says added various stability fixes. 
uh, issues with text wrapping in the windowed mode and address an issue that could cause a blurry screen uh, when using a sniper scope uh, in certain you know game modes with if you're playing on PC. Of course, they did have some changes for Onslaught on PS4 and PS5. They added the new Season 1 Intel to discover an Onslaught and added various enemy patching fixes. Overall, like I said, a lot of bug fixes, a lot of changes that, you know, I guess needed to be made in the game, a lot of UI improvements, that kind of thing. But at the same time, it was not quite the update that I was expecting considering Season 1 did get delayed. I was expecting a little bit more, in all honesty, but I think a lot of this had to do with trying to fix things for the Pro League, also trying to fix the new gen consoles crashing and, you know, messing up people's new consoles, that kind of thing. So hopefully all that stuff will get worked out. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel GT Racing. Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts about this update. Were you glad to see it? Was it something that was? It, were you kind of like I am, and you were expecting a bit more, uh, considering this update kind of delayed season one? I don't know what to think exact about it exactly, but overall, hopefully, it will improve the game, and that is all we really can ask for. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.